Thinking of having a destination wedding on a cruise? Here are my four reasons where I really don't like having cruise destination weddings. Hi, this is Jack with Vacationies. Okay, let's talk about four reasons I don't like having destination weddings on a cruise. Now, first of all, you have to say, I love cruises. Probably going four to five a year. I've probably been on 150 to 200 cruises over the past 30 years. So I love cruises. But let me give you the reasons I do not think cruises are great. I know the industry is probably not happy with me now, but here are my reasons why I do not think cruises are great for a destination wedding of a large to medium group. First of all, private events. Most people want to have a ceremony, a welcome party, maybe a rehearsal dinner, a reception, a cocktail party, all these private events at specific places at a resort or whatever. If you're on a cruise ship, most cruise ships will not let you say, hey, I want you to close the lobby bar or the rooftop bar for my this dinner, my this event. They just don't privatize their locations. So if you're thinking of all customization of your wedding events, the cruises won't do that. They'll tell you they'll do some of it, but what we've seen with the weddings we've done and other weddings I've attended, they really don't customize and privatize well. Number two is lack of flexibility. Now, remember the ship starts in a place and ends in a place. It could be four, five, six, seven days, but everybody's going to come on those four, five, six, seven days. Unlike a land-based wedding, we see so much movement of dates when we do land-based weddings. I want to come four days. I want to come six. I want to come Wednesday. Can I come Thursday? But I want to stay four days. And the answer is yes. With the cruise, everybody flies to wherever, let's say Miami or Fort Lauderdale. Everybody goes the three or four or five days and they get back off. There's no flexibility in that. So lack of flexibility is number two. Number three is because of number two, we see that when we do cruise weddings, our numbers are lower. What do I mean by that? You invite 50 people, we're going to see a lot less than my normal 60%. Our cruise weddings that we've done end up small. And I think it goes back to number two, which is your friends may not have seven days to take off of work, or they may not have four or five days. So I just see that because the lack of flexibility of the term of the vacation or the days that you can go, um, it's just not there that people aren't going to show up. So again, we've done cruise weddings when it's four, six, eight people, they work well because we don't need the private events. We don't have to worry about the flexibility of the dates. So our numbers stay where they need to be. So again, number three is the lack of flexibility, which causes number three, which is the reduction in the number of guests that actually attend. Okay, and number four really is a summary of all of the above. Um, cruises are not all inclusive. So I always tell people, whatever you think it's going to cost you with a cruise, um, it's going to cost you more. Now, a lot of the cruise lines, the mainstream cruise lines, so let's talk about the Royal Caribbeans, the NCLs, the Holland Americas, celebrities, they're trying to come up with more all-inclusive packaging. One of the things for me with weddings, destination weddings, is I do not like creating a class system for your guests. I don't like sending people to resorts where people have to look at, oh, that's extra, this is extra, that's extra. I really enjoy the resorts we work with where I tell guests everything is truly included other than maybe the spa and the gift shop and excursions. On most cruises, you get nickeled and dimed unless you're buying the all-inclusive package. And a lot of times when you start adding that all-inclusive package together, it gets pretty expensive. So I think, again, from that perspective, it's one of the things I don't like creating a class system because I want you and your guests, and we in the travel industry want you and your guests to truly enjoy the experience of everybody hanging out together and no one saying, oh, because I didn't stay in this cabin or the stateroom, I can't go to that restaurant or oh, I don't want drinks because the drinks are now $18 because I didn't get the drink package. So again, I think sometimes I find that the cruising creates a class system. Now, if you're fine with all of this, the cruises are amazing. Everybody can have fun. And again, 
We've done cruise destination weddings, but typically not for a larger group. I will say our land-based destination weddings typically happen in an all-inclusive resort in the Caribbean and Mexico. And what we're seeing is those are typically 40 to 70, 80 people. But when we try doing that on the cruises, we end up with a substantially lower number of weddings. Again, I love cruising. I do it a lot. But again, for destination weddings, these are my four reasons or five reasons why I just don't like doing cruise destination weddings. We do them and we would look forward to helping you plan your destination wedding, land-based or cruise-based. And this is Jack with Vacationies. Thanks.